Little and Off Fruit has processed strawberries for the last 35 years and it has been a community tradition. A community tradition that is now coming to an end. For years, hundreds of people lined up at the Lulinaw Fruit Company every day starting in early June to take home containers of the fresh fruit. We really are in a situation where our growers are feeling the labor crunch. The labor is not available to pick this type of a crop anymore. Lacrosse says a shortage of migrant workers makes it difficult for farmers and processors to pick and prepare strawberries for the fresh market. It will be much easier to import them from Mexico. He says the federal government is cracking down on immigration, drying out the workforce. Getting a green card or temporary work permit is a complicated process, and unemployed U.S. citizens aren't interested in the job. People just don't like to get down on their hands and knees and work, and that's what it takes to pick strawberries. Bruce Price was a strawberry farmer for more than 40 years and employed about 200 migrant workers every summer. He's retired now, but says there are farmers that could supply Lulinaw fruit with strawberries. They could raise the price up to 50 cents a pound and the, the public would not hi, holler at all because they've been too low. And that would keep plenty of labor around for cherries and other products later and would keep those farmers in business. He says farmers need to do more to attract migrant workers to northern Michigan. Sometimes there's not enough work, but the big line is most of these farmers don't want to pay enough money. All through my years, we never had trouble uh, getting a labor force. I was fair to them. I never had a labor issue on this farm at all.